Okay, Steve Jankowski here, and this is basically a, a training video, and I hope this helps, but one of the most common questions, complaints, problems, concerns that I get talked about, talked to about, is about what keywords should I go after? What keywords should I write articles about or do videos about? And that question, you know, while it's a valid question and I know it's sincere, behind that question is the thought, for most people I believe, that they're looking for that silver bullet. I mean, they want to find a keyword that they can write an article about and get 100,000 views of their article, or a keyword they can do a video about and get 100,000 views. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, it's not a magical keyword that's going to get you a lot of traffic. It's going to be the quality of your content and how well you build backlinks to your content to push that content up in the search engines. Now, that said, if you get a keyword for a brand new product that's launched or a brand new, if you're doing a review for a brand new company that just launched, yes, you can get on page one of Google fairly quickly and capture a lot of traffic that way. But for the most part, the real money keywords take effort, take thought. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that. Now, if you're marketing a product that is, you know, how to make money online, or if it's a mentorship program or something like that, you don't want to go after the keyword make money online. I mean, there's like three, four hundred million competing web pages for something like that. So you want to get a little bit more obscure or obtuse. You want to go a little bit more after the long tail and find a keyword that you think will really work, but you want it still to be a keyword that has traffic. So if I was going after a make money online keyword, I might do some research and use the Google AdWords tool. Okay, so go ahead and go to Google and do a search for a free keyword tool or Google AdWords tool. When you go there, you can do searches basically without setting up an account, but you have to enter a CAPTCHA code every time. So if you actually go and set up an AdWords account with Google, you can log into your account and you don't have to go through that whole CAPTCHA process. But you can use that free Google keyword tool all you want. I mean, it's a pretty awesome tool. And there's a lot of great marketers that primarily use that. There are other tools like Word Tracker, um, uh, Samurai, the Samurai tool, Keyword Elite. But for, for the most part, if you just use the free Google keyword tool, you'll be doing fairly well. Okay, so, so get a, a, a main keyword, like you could use the Make Money Online keyword, and use that to look for long tail keywords that still have a fair amount of searches for those keywords um, but you know not 400 million or you know competing you don't want there to be too much competition because you really need to be on page one of the search engines to be found okay but for the most part I go after whatever keyword I think that I want to go after I mean I don't let competition really interfere with me that much because I know how to optimize my content so that it gets high in the in the search engine. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about you know say let let me do, give you an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, first off, there is something called LSI keywords. Okay, so you want to find your main keyword, and then you want to find your LSI keywords. Okay, and LSI stands for latent semantic indexing. Now there is some some discussion in SEO circles about whether LSI keywords are really that important and whether Google really use, uses them or not. But the more I've looked at it, the more I've tested it, I think it is important to think about these keywords. And you're probably wondering what the heck are these keywords? Well, LSI keywords are basically keywords that relate to your main keyword. So let me just give you an example of that real quick. Let's say I was an affiliate marketer and I was marketing a brand new, you know, Canon camera. Okay. Um, let's let's uh, let's give it a model number. Okay. So that's my keyword. Canon camera model number. That's my keyword. I don't know what the model number is. But that's the keyword that I'm marketing. I went ahead and set up an Amazon account 
and I'm hoping to drive traffic so that people buy this particular Canon camera using my link. So that is my keyword. I've done research, you know, and I, I've looked, and that's the keyword I want. So what are the LSI keywords for that? Well, if you're using the free Google AdWord tool, down underneath it will be some other suggested keywords. Those are basically LSI keywords. They're keywords that relate to this keyword. But you don't really need to do that much research to think about what sorts of keywords that would relate to the Canon camera keyword. Um, keyword uh, like uh, pictures, video, megapixel, photo, image, um, digital, now you get the idea. These are all keywords that would relate to a Canon camera. Now why am I telling you that you need to think about all these keywords? Well, the theory is, well the fact is, you have something called keyword density. When you actually create content, you want to keep your keyword density to about two and a half percent. So that means for every hundred words in your article or your blog post, you want to have there be 2.5 repetitions of your keyword. And remember, when you're putting your keyword in your post, you want to make sure that it's in your title, your first sentence, and preferably at the beginning of your first sentence, and preferably at the beginning of your title, and then you want it to be in your last sentence. Okay, so just by looking at that, you can see that's three. So it, the recommendation by me has always been that create articles or posts that have at least 400 words in them. So four times 2.5 is 10. Okay, you need, if you're writing a 400 word post, you need to have your main keyword in there 10 times. These three are imperative. So you want to have your keyword in those positions for sure preferably at the beginning of the title, the beginning of the first sentence, the beginning of the last sentence, but then you can sprinkle them through another seven times in a hypothetical 400 word post. Now, these LSI keywords, the theory is, if Google sees these LSI keywords in here, it views them with almost as much importance as your main keyword. All right. So if, if you're going to write an article, do the research first, determine what your main keyword is going to be, determine what all of your LSI keywords are, and it really makes it fairly easy to write the doggone post. I mean, I can say, you know, Canon camera model so-and-so launched in September of 2011 is an incredible new uh, DSLR that also takes great videos. And then you can, you can create sentences around each of these LSI keywords and basically the post writes by itself all right or the article writes by itself and this is by being very tactical in how you choose your keywords and what you're writing them about and pretty much almost any keyword you can go through this process well I would say any keyword you can go through this process and that's basically the process that I go through when I'm creating a blog post or an article to get it found in the search engines. And if you go through this, and then if you do all the other steps to optimize this content, you're going to get found in the search engines. So in the next video, I'll talk about, I'll give you an overview of the steps that I go through to optimize my content for the search engines. So I'm going to pause this video right now, erase the screen, and I'll be right back in a sec.